All right, Pisces, what's up? Let's do a collective reading, 4th of July reading for Pisces. Let's see what's popping for Pisces, Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. What energy is surrounding Pisces currently, 4th of July? For the next, let's do the next 24 hours. Next 24 hours for Pisces. What's going on with the Pisces? Today is July 4th. Happy Independence Day, everybody. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> Pisces. What's going on with the Pisces? Three cards, please. Next 24 hours. Too many. Oh, shit. Pisces. All right, let's see what's going on with the Pisces. Next 24 hours. Two cards, single jumping cards only. Woman holding a heart. Wow. This has been coming out for you guys for like the hot, for the hottest, for the hottest minute. <laughs> action. Oh, shit. Someone's about to take action here. Could be a woman. All right. This could even be you if you're the woman watching. Single cards only. What was that? Cornucopia and rest and rejuvenation. Hmm. So some of you guys may be resting, rejuvenating, all right? Gathering up your energy and magician in the mirror. Wow. Lord of spirit for some financial endeavors here about to pop off. Okay. <laughs> all right. Action. Whatever this is that you've been manifesting is about... I feel like, I don't know. Are you okay over there? All right, now is the time to take action. Let's jump into the tarot and clarify these bad boys. This woman holding a heart. What is this about spirit? Woman holding a heart for Pisces. Next 24 hours. I feel so weird saying that. I keep wanting to say 48. I don't think I ever really did 24 hour but okay that's what i'm doing now all right so let's see what is this woman holding a heart woman holding a heart king of wands mm, aries leo sagittarius all right what is this woman holding a heart <laughs> seriously that's that's, that's, that's funny. Okay. Okay, guys. So looking at this, this woman is like, you see your heart over here? You want it? You want it? I got it. You want it? I got it. Dripping like water. You want it? I got it. <laughs> okay. Number 44. Sorry, that COVID shit still be fucking making me like lose my breath sometimes. Okay. Woman holding a heart. Eight of Wands, someone here is about to communicate. Someone is definitely taking action full speed ahead with all the all these wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Alright, somebody here is about to send a message, take some type of action, like quick, rapid action. You may have like some of is what I'm getting with this is you may have man or woman, you may like hold someone's heart. You, you know what I'm Talking about, like, speaking metaphorically, like, Hermit Reverse. Somebody here is going to come out of isolation. Okay, Virgo Energy. Somebody here is coming out of Hermit Mode. Coming out of isolation. I'm coming up. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. This could be a, a Leo Virgo Cusper with this King of Wands and the Hermit. One more, please, for this woman holding a heart. Three swords. Oh, shit. Somebody here. Okay. This could be someone who put you in a third party, or this is someone who broke your heart, or this person may be feeling heartbroken. One more. Three, three swords, please. One more. King of Swords, Aquarius, the Gemini. It's 
somebody is feeling heartbroken about something that's like three, three pentacles working on something, collaborating on something. This could be someone in family, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But somebody here is feeling heartbroken because they were working on something. This had to do with like finances, stability, a home, something to that nature. And they're feeling heartbroken. The King of Swords. There's two kings out here now. This could be... Um, it's a King of Swords. This could either be like someone's friend, a sibling, a, a mentor, a, a, an advisor um, with this King of Swords. This could even have to do with like legal matters as well. Somebody could be feeling heartbroken about. One more. One more, please. Four of Wands. Yeah, it could be about a home. Did I already say that? Yeah, I did. Or a marriage. This could even be someone who's a divorcee. A divorcee. Somebody's feeling heartbroken surrounding a marriage or a home. Somebody's about to come come out of isolation and seclusion and say, and speak something. There's about to be some type of action and messages. There's definitely verbal communication coming. All right, show me what this action is, please, for Pisces. Song is playing is believe in you. Uh, yeah, you me out in the rain. Or a sword. Somebody here I feel like is trying to heal from some type of a marriage or a contract or an energy is out here now. Somebody's no longer waiting on a higher level of commitment or waiting on. <clears throat> oh, shit. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. There may have been a contract or a will that somebody is trying to like sneak off with, trying to make a, the, the words that I got was take a break or make a break for it. Like somebody's trying to make a break. Like, um, how do you say it? Um, like making, I feel like I'm saying it stupid, but mm, like making a break for it. Like, like. Holy shit, I don't realize how silly I look sometimes until I look in the camera. Okay, that's why I don't look up. <laughs> All right, let's give me one more on this, please. The star. I feel like somebody turned their back on something. Someone's no longer waiting for someone who's being sneaky and deceptive. But, uh, what is this? No longer waiting. There could be like some family drama going on. Somebody maybe deciding to turn their back on someone, take a break from some type of a marriage or because someone here is being like creating a bunch of chaos, conflict in a home dynamic. 
Or this is about a lot of fucking money. <laughs> Somebody's taking action though. What is this magician in the mirror? Two of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Jesus. So again, this could be like some type of a marriage here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody's... The, who, okay. Let's just keep going. There's a feminine energy here. I don't feel like it's the same. I don't know who these people are in your life, but uh, yeah. Two of Cups. So... Somebody here is angry, they're pissed off, they're jealous, very off balanced here with this two of pentacles in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is, someone's feeling betrayed, somebody who was in a relationship. We have the king to the queen of wands out here. The masculine is in the upright with this king of swords. I feel like this person is very intelligent, very passionate. They're about to communicate. They're about to come out of isolation or hermit mode, per se. This person may be feeling heartbroken about some type of a marriage here or a home. But there's a lot of fighting going on surrounding some type of, like, contract, marriage. Uh, I'm also getting, like, this could be, like, a marriage that was, like, there's a lot of money or assets involved. Somebody here is no longer waiting. They're taking action. Whatever break or pause that there was here... Somebody's taking action. Somebody may be sneakily doing something as well. And there's this, oh shit. With this magician in the mirror and this queen of wands in the reverse. This is somebody, the queen of wands, especially in the reverse, could be someone, you know, in the cult or someone who's like in, in some witchy shit. But I'm talking like negative dark arts. Okay. Like somebody who's in some fucking hooju, hooju, hooju shit. Right. Queen of Wands in the reverse is somebody who, who does things out of jealousy, out of spite. Someone who's promiscuous. With the Two of Pentacles right next to her, this is someone who's fucking off balance like a motherfucker. Ten of Swords. There's some type of an ending to a relationship here and a betrayal. This could have been a soulmate, a true pair, queen to the king of wands. There could be someone else who's holding the, holding, like what I was getting in the beginning, holding someone's heart here. Like somebody has, I, I, I don't, I'm not saying the key, but you know what I'm trying to say, like the key to someone's heart. Like somebody here literally has someone's heart. Like, darling, yeah, I'm out. I don't even know how to say it. Okay, anyways, um, yeah. Somebody here is deciding to take action. I feel like somebody here has somebody's heart, like in a positive way this king of king of wands maybe even aries leo sag someone who's very passionate an entrepreneur go-getter this person's about to speak up they're about to send some messages here this person may be someone going through a divorce they could be feeling heartbroken surrounding some type of a home or something they're about to come out of isolation though somebody here is no longer waiting There's a lot of fighting here. A lot of deception as well. Somebody's turning their back on it, though. This could have to do with family. Or this relationship. But there's a Queen of Wands out here who's who's doing fucking magic. Period. The magician in the mirror. They could be doing mirror magic. I just now noticed the magician on the bottom of this deck. I was only saying that because of this magician in the mirror. But damn. I can't believe I didn't see that. Okay, give me two more on this magician in the mirror. This could be a fire sign, chariot, or a cancerian. Watch, watch... 
If you know who this magician in the mirror is, watch this person around your vehicle. And also be careful while traveling. Because this person may be trying to do something to either make you have some type of a car accident with this ten of swords in this chariot. It's like somebody here is trying to like do some damage. And it may be surrounding travel or a vehicle. Queen of Pentacles now. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody may be trying to stop somebody from traveling towards this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this could be like two feminine energies. You got one jealous ass bitch here and then you got somebody who's financially stable, a good mother, a good, a good parent, a good person to work for, takes care of things. And I feel like this other off-balance crazy bitch is trying to, like, do some shit to, to cause painful endings here. Major Arcanas we have is Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't even see you out here, Pisces. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you, Pisces? Where are you at? You're not even anywhere in this reading. I'm just saying. Okay. So maybe this is something that's going on around you. Maybe you, you know, this is a, like, I don't know why you need to know this. Maybe watch out for this fucking magician over here. Fucking trying to act like they know what the fuck they're doing. But they really don't. They're doing it. When you do shit out of fucking jealousy, spite, or try and like fuck with someone else's destiny or their, or their self self-conscious wow i meant subconscious but uh maybe somebody's trying to fuck with your confidence or something i don't even know but uh when you try to do shit like that out of jealousy spite hate anger that shit just backfires on you People don't understand that. I mean, some do. Most of my collective does. Every now and then I get a phone call about people all up in their feelings wanting to do some stupid shit. And, you know, God put me here for a reason to talk to those people out of their negative, you know, mind frame and educate them so that they don't do things like that. Because when you do, you know, people, you know, Hmm. these magicians in the mirror, these jealous, angry people who fucking are not evolved or not aware yet tend to do things. And yes, you can hurt other people. However, that shit will always come back and bite you in the ass. It will always come back 10 times harder. Like, but it still creates unfair, you know, How is Pisces involved in this situation, Spirit? The Chariot. You could be this Queen of Pentacles over here. Cancerian energy. How is Pisces involved? The Five of Cups in the reverse. Wow. So you're moving forward. You don't really give a fuck anymore. You have no regrets here. Seven of Pentacles. You're working on your investments. You're investing wisely things are taking off for you six of wands yeah 
things are six of wands. Whatever it is that you've invested into here, Pisces, this shit's about to be a success. You may be doing something online in the public eye or something to that nature, but with the chariot here, oh shit, and the empress on the bottom, things are taking off quickly for you. You're about to grow. Be very abundant, okay? You're, you're letting go of whatever this is, the sadness, this regret. What is this seven of swords down here? And five of wands? <coughs> Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. All right. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't want to be a player no more. So somebody here, somebody is taking a break from the drama. Somebody's taking a break from the sneaky deception. What is this? Knight of Wands reversed. Taking a break, though. Four of Swords. It's like, oh, let me take a break. Let me take a break. Let me take a break. Hmm. Why do I keep saying that? Fuck, seven of swords. Four of swords. All right, this is silly as fuck, but this is what I'm getting. Somebody here may um, be taking a break. Like, again, four of swords, seven of swords. It's like taking a break from their deception, taking a break from their sneaky ways or trying to heal from some type of deception. Maybe somebody's trying to heal from something here. But it's like somebody's going to have to stand their ground, possibly in court. I don't want to be a player no more. All right. What is this seven of, seven of whatever swords and five of wands? The king of swords. Exactly. It's like Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in the fucking hair font. Like that's what I was just saying was the hair font. So do we have to stand their ground in court again? Kind of the same energy. King of swords, the hair font. It's like somebody here. Don't make any reckless, impulsive decisions. I don't even feel like this is your energy, though. I feel like this is someone around you. I feel like somebody here is, like, taking a break, like, literally, from whatever fuck show shit that they were doing. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords. Whatever fuck show shit, I like that word, that they were doing, they're literally taking a break because this is, like, slowing shit down, be not being impulsive. You know, um, not making any hasty decisions, kind of like slowing shit down, right? Maybe because something here is court ordered. If there is something going on in court, Pisces, I feel like you're going to be, you're going to come out of this victorious. This may also have to do with money because I seen, um, the six of pentacles and something else i forget but what's this queen of pentacles who's this queen of pentacles who is this who's this queen of pentacles say it's me darling it's justice yes you make it justice for a situation and you made up wealthy stable just doing great, smelling good, watering your garden. <laughs> All right, Libra and energy. This could be a Libra as well. This is Queen of Pentacles. Four cups. You may be feeling a little bit bored, dissatisfied here with love. But I feel like, yeah, exactly. This is someone who has nine pentacles, okay? pre-empress energy this is someone who is independent self-sufficient has all these fucking pentacles in her garden here to pick from that she's worked very hard for him her whatever okay only thing that she doesn't have is love so again like what i was getting with this four cups you may be feeling like a little bit bored or dissatisfied with love but i feel like you are independent and you're good on your own okay You may even have a soulmate coming in. What's this two of cups down here? 
I feel like somebody got betrayed by someone that they were, yeah, exactly. Ooh. Somebody got betrayed by somebody they were in a relationship with. And then we get the five of swords. Yeah. Somebody here was mind gamed, manipulated, fucking, um, spreading rumors, lies, gossip, whoever this person who, who's this fucking queen of wands up here? Well, shit, she went on the floor. All right. Three pentacles. This could have been somebody that someone would, ow, oh, oh, there it goes. I don't know if you guys heard that. My hip like totally popped out. That shit fucking hurt. Okay. Three of pentacles. This could have been somebody that, you know, at work, it's could have been that someone that somebody here was working together with, collaborating with. Maybe somebody at work could have been a fire sign. But that person was trash. Three pentacles on the on the ground. Yeah, the per Woo! The person was trash. That fucking offer was trash. Alright. It's fucking trash. El garbage. This is King of Swords. Somebody was working for the promised land. Ten of swords for the Neverland. Okay. Ten of swords reversed. King of swords. So this king of swords is whoever got betrayed, stabbed in the back in the past. That shit is all water under the bridge. That shit is over with. Who's this king of sword or king of, uh, not swords, uh, king of wands, please. Who's the king of wands? The page of wands. This could be somebody who's younger. It doesn't have to be with the king of wands. This could be just someone. This is whoever is whoever has a plan to send this message, take some type of action. This is that page of wands. This could be somebody who's very young at heart. Somebody who's like full of life and optimistic and la-di-da-di-da. -da, but this person is heavily burdened. Ten of wands. Why? Why? Why is this person heavily burdened, spirit? The three of wands, because somebody here turned their back on them or is no longer waiting or somebody is waiting. No, that went in ten of cups. Wow. Family may have even turned their back on this person and they want to apologize for something. Knight of cups, ten of cups, three of wands. You may not even see this coming. Page of pentacles. Yeah, they want to come in and they want to offer you something, but they don't have very much. Page of wands, page of pentacles. You may even have children with this person or this person has children themselves, but they don't have very much to offer from the looks of it. They do want to apologize and express their feelings. Okay. You do make this person happy. Oh, Ace of Cups. As I say that you do make this person happy. They want a brand new beginning in love with you. Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck, but you may have this person blocked because this person could have left you out in the cold. This could have been an emperor in Aries, a baby's father, a boss, King of Cups, but this person does have a lot of love for you. And there you go, the Queen of Swords. You're cold and detached towards this person. You're trying to heal. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave it there. What is this King of Swords again? Ten of Swords in reverse. Ace of Wands. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say it. First message I got was uh, this King of Wands and this King of Swords may have been in like uh, some type of a sexual relationship and they may have got burned, but this was in the past. With this hermit in the reverse, somebody may be coming out, like literally coming out about this. Maybe that's why they're feeling heartbroken or somebody's going to feel heartbroken when they find this out. There's a lot of threes here, so there was definitely like three ways, third parties, shit like that going on. There in Seven of Swords, there was deception. 
somebody here is being a player, but I don't, honestly, I don't feel like they are anymore. Or at least they're taking a break. Like, let me hang up my jersey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not jocking anybody. I'm just, just, you know. This may have been like two men and a woman. And somebody got burned here. And then you have this Queen of Wands over here who's a witchy bitch on some crazy shit. And I'm not, I have nothing against witches and like, you know, any of that shit. It's, it's how it's used in the intent, you know, that can be malicious and fucking, if you think about it, we're all witchy in our own ways, right? Every time we open our fucking mouths, it's putting it out into the world, you know? So it's manifesting it's creating magic, right? Every time we open our fucking mouths when we're like, I'm fucking great, okay? Is that bad? No. Could that be a form of magic? Yes. Or manifestation, however you want to look at it. But then when you have other people out there that are like, fucking hate this bee and then I'm going to do this and I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whatever bee. I'm not even going to go there because that's not how I get down. But, uh, yeah, that's how that bitch gets down. And they may be saying it in the mirror. They may be lighting candles, doing fucking whatever the fuck. So somebody here got burned by both sides. If this is like a three-way, like where there's a man, maybe it's like an open relationship, like two men and a woman. Two of these men may have been, I mean, it may have been a couple who was married or in a committed relationship or a higher level of commitment per se with the hair font coming out, but then there was another masculine that was brought in, or this is two men who had a woman that was, you know, their little menage a trois. But I feel like whoever was in this got burned by both them bitches. <laughs> Just like, yikes. And now they want to come back. Maybe that's how you're involved. Yeah, because we definitely see somebody here has, has somebody's heart. Somebody wants to come in and page of pentacles, knight of, pen, knight of cups, I mean. Um, I feel like your ships may be coming in. Ten of cups. You may be in a new relationship. You may even be married. Or you have somebody new coming in. I don't know. Uh, no, it's not someone new. Not in this story. This is that past person. Or this is someone that you fucking know. I don't know. I'm done. Okay. Pisces. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Please hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps me out a lot. Personal readings. I'll be open to doing those tomorrow. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.